What's up? Welcome back. Welcome to 401 News. Let's go ahead and jump to 401 News. I ain't gonna keep you long because I don't have a lot of time. I got homework to do. It is the middle of the semester. And I gotta get stuff done. So let me go ahead and jump into 401 News. If you are new, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell so you know when I post a video. Keyword is subscribe and share. OG fans, welcome back to the welcome back to the party. We're knocking out these Friday, these, these Friday news, so let's get to it. First things first, my 49ers won today on Thursday night. Football, they finally closed out a game. They finally closed out a game because they have been they have been the leading in some games and not closing them out, but they closed it out today against the Seattle Seahawks. So big props, big love to the San Francisco 49ers for winning tonight's game. And if your team won on Sunday, hey, congratulations to them, to them too. So let's go ahead and get into our entertainment news. We're gonna start fresh off. Fresh off the entertainment news, talking about Cardi B again. If you remember last week, I talked about Cardi B when her, when her husband Offset was talking about she, she was, she, was it last week or was it two weeks ago? Anyway, he was talking about how she had sex with a guy when she was eight months pregnant. Well, he finally decided he wanted to put the guy on blast on who the guy was. So rumors is, this is a legend, and this is rumors that she had sex with Houston, with Houston Texans wide receiver Stefan Stefan Diggs. <laughs> Neither one of them have came forward and said anything. I think Cardi B came forward, like rumors, rumors, rumors. Everybody got rumors. Like I said in my last video, at the end of the day, what people do in their bedroom is their business. And all I think Offset is just jealous and mad because he won't the one getting it. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Like, you don't see Cardi B putting this business out there who he sleep with because I believe he's, he, he stepped out on her a few times. So, but then again, it's that saga between them that have been going on for years and years and years. And that saga going to always continue. They want a divorce. They're not getting a divorce. It, it just, it just goes back and forth between those two. So, we'll, like I said, who cares who she slept with? The baby came out nice and healthy. And to me, that's, that's really all that's important. Next thing we're going to talk about is, yes, we're back talking about P. Diddly Diddly D again. So P. Diddy is just something real short and sweet. So this time they have set a trial date for this man to go to court for his sex trafficking case. And that court date is set for May 2025. For a lot of y'all, that might be the last time y'all see P. Diddy. <laughs> hey, once again, you're old enough to do the time, do the crime. You're old enough to do the time behind balls. So that's that with P. Diddy. I, will, I am I am ecstatic to see what's gonna happen in May when um when that dude goes to trial because that's gonna be a a media blitz and it's gonna be a fun thing to see. Second thing we're gonna talk about is I this came out today. Ti is stating that the Jungle Ball 2024 will be his final performance. If y'all been um catching up on with Ti for a while. T.I. has been rumored about it being his last, he about, he about retiring from rap for a while, but I think he never found that right time to do it. And I think in his mind, like, this is, this is the right time for him to do it. He's kind of like on, he's kind of like on top. He don't got too much junk going on. I mean, he's always into some stuff, but he don't have too much stuff going on. So it, it this might be the best time for him to, um, for him to just go ahead and, skedaddle up out of there so i mean if he's gonna retire let him retire i mean like i said you always want to retire on top you never want to retire when you're at the bottom so if this is his last performance i bid well i wish him well and hopefully whatever he decides to do when he retires whether well, rumors are he was talking about trying to be a comedian so if he's trying to be a comedian then hey go ahead and be a comedian let's laugh it up last thing we're going to talk about is dr dre so this came out on Ball Alert today. It said Dr. Dre's ex-therapist files a $10 million lawsuit. Claims he's been forced to wear a bulletproof vest due to Dr. Dre's threats. So I, I was reading this and it was, it was pretty funny to me. So if y'all remember, you know, him and his wife was going through a divorce and she was asking for all this money about uh, all this money with uh, trying to, um, you know, spousal support and all that good stuff. So they went to go see this, this therapist 
and his name is Dr. Charles Sophie. And um, he said ever since the divorce, Dr. Dre has been threatening him, you know, harassing him, sending him, uh, sending him threatening, threatening text messages. Also hired some guys to pose as FBI agents to come to his house. And he said ever since then, he said he just been, he's been scared and, and he know he's scared that Dr. Dre is going to do something to him. And I had to walk around in a, in a bulletproof vest. People, do you believe this? I, I, I guess I have to look at it from the doctor standpoint, right? So let's look at it from the doctor standpoint. I guess Dr. Dre feel like the doctor didn't do what he's supposed to do because his marriage didn't get saved in the first place. So he's like, I'm going to do something to this doctor. But then do you think this doctor may be, uh, what I'm looking for, um, over-exaggerating? Do you think Dr. Dre really going to put himself in predicament to kill a doctor or to scare a doctor to throw everything he got down the drain, already had to pay his wife for all this money? I'm just saying, it, 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 don't, it don't make sense to me. The cookie ain't crumbling right. So let me know down in the comments how you feel about, feel about that. But if you're walking around wearing a bulletproof vest all day, I don't know. You can stay in the house. I just don't know. Let me know how you feel about that down in the comments. Let me know how you feel about Dr. Dre stepping out on, on rap and retiring out. Let me know how you feel about that. But anyway, people, that's all I have for you today. Because like I said, I got to get in there and I got to do, do my midterm. And I got to make sure I get my education. But people, like I always said, I love and appreciate every single last one of y'all. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for the ongoing support. As always, remember to encourage and support one of support one. So encourage and support. I can't even talk today. Encourage and support one another. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.